In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the color grade from Zack Snyder's Justice League and apply it to any photo you want. In fact, you're going to learn how to take the color grade from any movie and apply it to any photo. Let's get started. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Let's get started. This works on any movie, works on any photo. You can literally just lift the color grade off pretty much anything. So I was watching Zack Snyder's Justice League and I thought, hey, this color grading is good um, for a tutorial. Let's have a look at it. So essentially what you want to do is just go onto YouTube or whatever, find the trailer for what you want. In this case, here's the trailer. And then, you know, there's obviously different frames. So I'm going to take a screen capture. So that's going to be shift command four and then just kind of drag around that. Make sure you don't grab the logo in uh, on Mac on Windows. Just hit the print screen to choose file new and then just control V or command V to paste in that uh, screen capture. That's how you do it. All right, so this is obviously going to give us a very orange scene. So what you want to do is just keep moving throughout this until you find a particular grade you're looking for. You know, in this case, you know, let's grab this and from Wonder Woman's area. Let's grab that out of the Amazon. So what you're doing is essentially just grabbing a screenshot of the different frames that give you the coloring you're looking for. Now, when we look throughout this, there's a few things that are pretty clearly evident in all of them. One. The colors in here are very desaturated. It's a very monochromatic kind of a look. Number two, if you look, even in the brighter scenes, um, we've got like the shadows are very dark. It's very shadowy. So the shadows are plugged up. Not a lot of detail there in the shadows. So it's very high contrast. We can see that here. Skin tones blown out. Shadows very dark, plugged up. And then there's an overall kind of a color hue on each of these frames. So you can see that that's the way, you know, it, it is. All right, so we can see it, but there's also a little bit of a, uh, a kind of a soft filmy look, and we'll get to that in a sec. All right, let's just get rid of that, and let's go into Photoshop. We've got a few images we're going to do. So we're going to grab something here, you know, an on-location shot. We're going to do a city. And then what I want to do is just do a very simple portrait that already has a color grade on it. And I'm going to show you how to replace all of these with the cinematic color grading. Uh, by the way, grab these images from Adobe Stock. All right, so what we want to do is just open up the files that we're going to be using as our source. So I can see we've got that one. Why don't we grab that? So we've got an RNG so we can see some different kind of styles. Let me just go into Window Tile. Okay, so you can see I've got three screen captures open here with different color grading. And then three images. All right, let's just consolidate all of these to tabs. Let's start with the city. So we're going to choose image adjustments and go down to match color. With match color open, we want to use the source. So under source, choose the little button there and you'll see that each of these corresponds with the tab of the image that we've got open. So we've got three screenshots. We've got the Superman kind of screen and you can see what's going on there. Not really the right color we want for this scene, but I just want to show you how that works. Then we've got, you know, a couple more. We've got this scene, but we've got this scene. So these are all the open images. So as you can see here, it's picking up the color grade immediately. Now there's some things that we need to do to make it look a little bit better. The first one is fade. So this is going to be the original. This is going to be the graded. So you want to decide, you know, hey, how far or how much grading do you want to apply? I'm going to pull it down a little bit to about 33%. And notice that this is more saturated. Look at all the Zack Snyder shots on whatever film it is that you're emulating. And we're going to take the color intensity to the left. We can reduce the amount of saturation. There we go. That's starting to look a little bit more like it. I'm just going to push up the color a little. And what I'm doing is just looking at these kind of reddish tones and remembering what they look like in the shot. It's definitely looking better. Luminance, we can push that to the left to kind of darken it and to the right to brighten it. You're not going to do a ton of work in the luminance. You could kind of darken it down a little bit there. Click OK. All right, so that's one way of doing it. There's other ways of doing this. Let's move to another shot. Let's do a portrait that already has a color grade on it. So we're going to replace it with a different color grade. So let's choose the 
image adjustments, match color. Once again, choose the source. And by the way, this will work on layers as well. Let's look at what we've got here. That's kind of similar. And notice that this is going to look a little bit different. Now we're going to do the one that has the portrait on it. Now notice these areas are just kind of blown out. Don't worry about that right now. What I want to do is actually go back. I think this is going to be a good grade to kind of grab. So now you want to fade this until we lose these hotspots. There we go. Let's pull that color intensity back a little bit to the left. And let's pull the luminance down a little bit because this is a little bit darker. It's what they're using. Click OK to apply that. And then if we look at it, edit. That's before. So you can see it's picking it up. Okay, one more. And this time I'm going to show you an additional trick. So what we're going to do is choose the image and let's grab our adjustments once again. Let's grab our match color. I'm going to grab this first one because it seems to work quite well for these type of images. See how dark that is. Once again, though, let's just quickly look and see if we wanted to do that Superman shot where it's kind of very warm. We could take that and you can just see how it really affects it differently. But let's go with this shot here. Once again, pull the color intensity down. Let's fade it just a little bit. Maybe a bit more. There we go. Now let's just click to apply a couple more things I want to do to this. So what we're going to do is duplicate the background layer. Control or Command J would also do that. Change the blending mode to overlay. Because this is something I noticed that Zack Snyder does a lot in his films, particularly like his 300 film. And we're going to choose Filter Blur. And we're going to blur this particular layer. So we've got it in overlay mode and now we're blurring it. Notice we get a kind of a fringe that's a little too far. About there is what we, we're getting that effect. And this is giving us a kind of a softer kind of a overlay. Let's bring the opacity down and just kind of dial it up a little bit. See, that's starting to give us that feel. Now let me just create a brand new layer on top. And let's just fill it with clouds. So we're just going to choose filter, render, clouds. And I'm doing this just to give myself something to work with. Now we're going to choose filter noise, add noise. And this is where we're going to give it that film grain. Make sure you grab monochromatic Gaussian. And then we got some of that grain if you want to add it. Then we just go into the mode here, change it to like an overlay blending mode, bring the opacity down super low, and then just crank it up just a little bit. We start to put some of that film grain in there. Let me go higher so you can really see it. If you want to give it a filmic look, you can do that. We can do a black and white adjustment layer. So let's just choose under here, black and white. Then with the black and white adjustment layer, all we need to do is adjust the opacity. So there's some different tips and techniques there on how you can take the color grading from a movie and apply it to photograph. And you can also use this to match the color between layers and uh, you know when you're building composites and different things. So I'm curious, did you guys learn anything in this video? If you did, let me know in the comments underneath what your favorite part was. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and you won't miss any of my weekly tutorials. And if you guys like this, smash the like button into dust. It helps us with the YouTube gal. You blah. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.